Last time on... Danganronpa. Ah! Well, well, um, I did find a secret room, but... As soon as I started looking around, I was attacked. All I had to do was say you were smoking in the boy's room. Oh, come on, you saw that coming. Did you think I wouldn't notice? You're hiding something. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? So sorry, I can't tell you. Not yet. Uh oh. So, that's your answer. But do you think that's fair? You were happy to hear what I had to say. Now you're unwilling to share? I'm sorry, I really am. It's fine. The name for the door says Headmaster's Room. Okay, what's here? What's here? Oh, huh, there's a picture on the floor. This picture. What? The picture is real. No more, no less. <laughs> and what? Do you have frozen frozen mine X? Um, Kyoko? He's ignoring me. That's my room, you know. So it is now, anyway. And you're thinking of busting it down? I talked over Monkuma. Oops. I was in the bath. Well, what else would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers. When I got to the dressing room, Toko was sitting alone on the bench with the laptop in front of her. Toko, did you like to come here? What alter you go ahead and say to me? What's your problem? I, I already heard it. Miss Master. <laughs> Master. Oh boy, what are we going to do with her? What are we going to do with her? <sighs> You don't have to keep saying it. Anyway, so what are you doing right now? <laughs> Shut up. Stop bothering me. How about that? Get out of the way! We have to talk to Alter Ego! Well... No, no. I mean, my master. A promise. Mm. A promise? <laughs> master told me to wait here. That's what I'm doing. Huh? What are you? His dog? <laughs> <laughs> what the master wants, I do anything he asks. <sighs> you just love being mistreated. <laughs> oh, well, fine. If you only want me gone, by all means. <laughs> what? Hey guys, what's going on? <laughs> um, we'd like you to move. Yes! Sure thing, just kneel before me and beg. First, a mega mantra assist, now a super sadist, sadist, whatever. Great. Um, Toko, seriously, I'm asking you nicely to let us use the laptop. Hear what I said? I told you to kneel and beg. Come on, Makoto, give the old one do combo. One drop of your knees. To beseech! Why are you acting like this? You're not part of this. As ever, as desperate as I felt, finally did kneel down forever and begged. Please, I'm begging you. Will you please let us use the laptop? <laughs> Thank you, game. Oh, I'm on fire! Ultra, my lack of feeling of happiness! All my pent up anger and master for abusing me is evaporating! <sighs> so even you realize it's abuse. Hey. That should be enough, right? Hurry up and let's talk to Alter Ego. <laughs> okay. I feel like I'm losing the voices today. I'm just slipping. Really Everyone, come closer. I already told Byakia, but... I was finally able to crack open all the files that were on this laptop. Sorry to kept you all waiting. Correct. Just what I thought. I see. Finally, the time has come. 
Um, um I'm starting to get kind of nervous. I felt the same way resting on the keyboard. My hands are starting to shake. Just a second. Move. Single word was like a sharpened blade. Wounded, I moved to let her take over. So then. Here we go. Here we began typing, the words appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found out? Leave it to me. Sure, I analyzed the files and extracted all the useful information I could find. The most really important fact I discovered is that a certain plan has been put into effect here. The rest of the students of Hope Speak Academy and create a new life for them. That was the goal of the plan. Whatever it was meant to be, it was meant to be more than just a normal school life. Students were intended to live out the rest of their lives here. But that's... I see. That's exactly the situation we found ourselves in! Hey. It's quite unthinkable, isn't it? What's more, the one who came up with the plan was... Other than the administrators of Hose Peak Academy themselves! Huh? Wait! Wait! Hold on! The reason we've been in prison here? Wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever? No way! It was school itself? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense! Why would they Just do that? Second. I don't think Alter Ego is finished. Perhaps we should hear the rest. That's right. It's the other day it recently this player. We could have happy a year ago. This is how they described that event. So it was the biggest, most awful, most tragic event in human history. What's that mean? What? what? Yeah, what kind of name is that for something? Uh -huh. Otherwise known as a tragedy, it's apparently some sort of devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, well. the Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school and close down. I see. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. This means as one year ago, this thing, this tragedy, took place. Whatever it was, it forced Hope Speak to shut down. From there, they said to use the school as kind of a staging ground. That's right. Plan to sequester the students here, where they would live out the rest of their lives. So, um... But why would the Hope Speak administrators want to shut everyone in like that? Hey. And what could this tragic event have possibly been? In a flash, Google had typed their questions into the computer. The answer we got was... Sorry. Sorry. I don't know. If that information was ever on this computer, it's gone now. I'm totally useless. I'm sorry. And that's all he said. What? What? Then is this really the end? You get halfway through the answer and that's it? Indeed. It would appear so. Disappointing. Oh, wait! No. There's one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be important. What has to do with the Mastermind? The mastermind? Yoko's fingers moved even faster than they had so far. Did you figure out the Mastermind's identity? Sorry. No, I still don't know, but he did find a clue, I think. The one leading the Host Peak staff, the one who finally has planned to isolate you, is the Host Peak and Headmaster. That same person may very well be the mastermind who planned this all out. According to the files, the Headmaster is a man in his late 30s. It seems possible, even likely, that he's somewhere in the school right now. The Headmaster? The, the Headmaster? Is here in the school? Kyoko's surprise. Okay. Then that's gotta be the mastermind! I mean, Marco has been calling himself the headmaster, right? Perhaps. Which makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. For serious. But if we break down the door to his room, we're dead, right? So what are we supposed to do? I... I'll find a way. Yoko's pissed. Run. Hide. Get away! Oh? Huh? I... No matter what it takes, I will find the headmaster. No matter what? No matter the cost. That so eye is scaring I'm... me. Kyoko, what's going on? I... I can't explain why. I just know that I have to find him. 
He has to? Kyoko, what's going on with you? Are you still mad at me? Hear about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. So then. We should see if Alter Ego has any more information. That seems to be her attempt to regain her composure, and she started typing again. Did you learn anything else? Sorry. I'm sorry. That's everything I found. All the information on this laptop seems to be pretty old, so that's all I can do from here. I'm really sorry. <sighs> it really is all over! Hey. Wait, Alter Ego seems to have more to say. So, um... Um, well... It's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something. Um... I haven't seen Celeste, Hifumi, or Taka since yesterday. A heavy silence fell across the room. The only sound was the flat, precise clicking of keys as Kyoko typed. Please, 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 please! You're all dead. Huh? What? Um... I see. Still, I knew that was a possibility, but... Okay, then. What really happened? Oh, sorry. There's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. Anyway. Well then, I guess that's it. That's it? Simple phrase that held so much meaning. She began typing again. You've done your job. Thank you. I'm done? I guess I am. Huh? Okay, then. Then, maybe I'll take a little rest. I'm kind of tired. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. With that, the laptop entered sleep mode. I see. So Alter Ego did everything he could. Indeed. We won't have to talk to him all that much anymore. But... But I feel kind of sorry for him. But... You feel sorry? But he does a computer program, right? Well... I know. But still, he did everything he could for us, hmm. you know? I mean, yeah, it did. But what, what's a computer program designed to do? You don't tell a computer a good job every time you shut it down, do you? Hmm. Well, no. When we talked to Alter Ego, I guess I just didn't see it that way. I know what you mean. You feel the same way. Hey! Hey, come on! It's just a program! You can tell the difference between a program and an official AI, right? But you know, that's the difference between us and that program. Huh? Anyway. Huh? I started thinking about how you differentiate a person and an AI. Alter Ego isn't human. I know that. It's a program running on a computer. At the same time, I couldn't help but think of him as our friend. That's right! Yeah, he's no different from us. He's still our friend. Hmm. I think. Maybe I understand where you're coming from. <laughs> then there's no problem calling him a friend. After all, the more friends, the merrier, right? How about that? Check this out. Friendship has no survival value. Instead, it gives value to survival. So... So, anyway... What? What? Don't say anyway that. It's only some very cool thing I quote from I don't know where. Hey. Anyway, there's nothing more Alter Ego can do to help us. As such, his role in this is over. Am I wrong about that? No, but... Just a second. And frankly, I question the ease on which you decide who is and isn't your friend. Do you really mean that? Wait. The story's gotten off track. We should go over what Alter Ego said one more time. Uh, um... Yeah, good idea. What's the whole peak staff thinking? What? Why are they making us kill each other? Hmm. Alter Ego said what happened one year ago is what started everything. Well... Yeah, he said it was the biggest, most awful, most hopeless event in human history, right? Must have been a huge incident, whatever it was. But did something really like like that really happen a year ago? Uh, um... I don't remember anything happening I could describe that way. What about you guys? <laughs> I don't really watch the news, so... I'm sorry. Sorry, nothing comes to mind. Anyway... That event led to the closing of Hope's Peak. At the very least. If nothing else, it must have had some kind of connection to this school. What? What? Maybe all the students here were killed or something! However... That kind of catastrophe would have been all over the news. At least one of us would remember that. Could it be... Then maybe they covered it up! That 
Oh, suddenly one of us knew what the school had been that the school's been shut down. I see. Totally covering out something like that. I suppose it's not totally impossible. What the heck? What's wrong with our government? Our taxes pay their salaries. They should be handling stuff like that. Anyway. Maybe. Right now there's only one path open to us. So we have to find the headmaster of Hope's Peak Academy. Correct. We have to find him and make him tell us everything. No matter what. As long as we get our hands on him, I think. Kyoko. When she said headmaster, I got that feeling again. Well. But even that is a problem not so easily solved. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. So then. Well, our business is done here, so for now we should get out of here. Um. Oh, yeah, good idea. Yep. Then I. Huh? Huh? Is it really that dusty? Wait, I mean. Oh, oh no. I'm not waiting anymore. I'm not guarding it. You're going to be so mad at me. Let's avoid getting involved any further. Uh, um. Good call! As we left the dressing room, someone was there waiting for us. Ba -bum, ba -bum. My heart is pound, pound, pounding away! It's pounding with anger! <laughs> you just a lot mad about that old break in the headmaster's room thing, are you? Bzzz. Oh, that little matter doesn't matter even a little. I'm a little jealous of you guys enjoying a decent mixed bath. That doesn't matter either. Yeah. It's building. I feel it building. Yeah, My head's about to boil yeah. over with rage. Please. Don't get so angry. Here, let me help you send in your chakra. Poom, poom. Etch this on the walls of your brain, okay? When you do something to me, I do it right back. An eye for an eye, a fang for a fang. Huh? Fang for a fang? Be careful, you just had the incantation of the devastation. Huh. He's going he's gonna go into a thing if you No, it's just a hmm. saying. Oh, I see. What but what's he talking about? <clears throat> this is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. As such, it is officially nighttime. Soon the doors to the dining hall will be locked, and entry at that point is strictly prohibited. Okay then, sweet dreams, everyone. Good night. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug bite. Correct. So, it's night time. Hey. What does everyone want to do? Celeste was the one who suggested our nighttime rule, but she's gone now. Hmm. I think we can still avoid being out at nighttime. I know it'll make me feel better that way. Um. I agree. It's true. Very well then. In that case, time for bed. So everyone headed back to their rooms. Akuma's parting words left me feeling anxious for the rest of the night. Once I was back in my room, I got lost in thought. What we learned from Walter Ego kept on spinning around and around in my head. The mysteries of Host Beak had planned all of this. They did because of the tragedy which had happened a year before. Apparently the headmaster's the one behind it all. Mastermind. All these mysteries make me worried. I still have to try and unravel them, bit by bit. I'm sure the road would be long and tough, but I don't have any other choice. Let's talk a bit about where I was before I became a bear. At first, I was at a total loss. I just had no idea what I should become. A lady in our tech support department suggested I try being a shrimp. She was like, 
Oh, the company's been trying to push for this forever. It's a really incredible offer. But she laid out all the details, it turned out... It wasn't a tiger prawn like I'd hoped. It was a little popcorn shrimp. That's totally tiny. I've been the world's smallest mascot. I like eating shrimp. I didn't want to be one myself. Unless someone might come along and step on me. Then the lady totally started laughing at me. It's like, you think we can do a tiger prawn on our budget? So all to me, I decided to become a bear instead. And that's the secret origin story of Monokuma. I forgot to do the whole bear thing. Good morning, everyone! It is now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! First things first, I need to head to the dining hall. But first, I'm going to search the room for coins, because why not? Man, Mako's had a hard time recently. And yeah, always a trash can. It is always a trash can. So that ends that. I'm getting the episode here. Have a good one, guys. I'll see you next part. I need a break. Hello, everyone. I'm gonna do this live instead of doing the normal photo at the end of the episode because of one thing today. That's right. I got a special thing to show you. We haven't found the enemy in F FYE recently, so why not show that off today, right? Ooh, camera's working real well today. You can actually see it without much glare. I like it. This one's working quite well today. It's being weird. Never worked this well before. It makes me a little nervous. But the backside. I mean, the reason why it makes me so nervous is that you can see that, yeah, it has a lot of shiny. And our, our, other, our side, you can actually see. The formation release. I would show you the top and bottom, but it's what you expect. Oh, wait, I can at least show you that, yep. Funimation, you know, the whole nine yards. They made it. Let's open up the package. I've already unwrapped this to make sure everything's okay. Usually don't want to get home after buying a DVD. Just make sure the case is a little damaged, but it's nothing. This was on the back before I took it off. You expect. Let me read, read it. Both Peak High School only accepts the best of the best, and these super superlative students will... Uh, these two parallel students will have to add slard to their schedules. They help lead the school in something other than a body bag. Eat, stab, crush, just don't get caught. The victor goes freedom, but only if no one can figure out who done it. Get caught in some specifically ordered punishment to fit the crime. From the oddly ordinary Makoto Neigi, the students that are the best and brightest hope of the future. All are plunged to the depths of ultimate despair. But what is this? The biggest mystery of all may be the secrets of the school itself. When the sadistic Monokuma starts to leave a trail of my bending clues, will there be any hope left for survival for the remaining students trapped in this trigger happy havoc? Extras are episode 1 commentary, which is in English, so expect that. Texas opening and closing songs, US trailer, and other trailers, cause you know how they like to do that. This is the double release, which means I get it on DVD and on Blu-ray. If you like the DVD, you have Sayaka on the front. Actually, nope, other way, me. The reverse camera. Back on front. And this on the back. I'll open the DVD up first. Actually. There we go. Let's get me perfect. You can see how it's put together. On the inside. We got Celeste, we got our list of tracks in it, well, list of episodes. They split the extras between the DVDs a little more evenly, to be honest. From what I've heard. I haven't watched either of these, because you know why. Let them make sure they work. 
our disc we have on the first one we have Hina and her donuts and her possible pose that people have said and on the other one we got Thick Bud himself sitting on a throne. First one has 1 to 7, the second one has 8 to 13, it's a little more balanced like I said and all that happened. Now for those of you that love the Blu-ray, don't forget that this is both. You pull this out. Yeah. Yeah, we get Kyoko! And on the inside... Junko! They love us, don't they? Yeah, again, we get... This one's a little less balanced, because they have 1 through 9, and then 10 to 13, all the extras. I don't know why they did it, but whatever works, right? They get this back in, these things never come, go in as they come out. Now, for those of you that want to see what's on the DVDs for them, you can see we got Toko on one and Hero on the other. And like I said, these are blue white ray ones, they're a little different, but that's all for today. That's it. That's the whole unbox, well, show off of this. Just make sure these cases are back in right because, you know, Blu-ray cases are a little bit different than DVDs. They have the top lip that you gotta make that, you know. Okay, there we go. So that's everything for today. I right, said the cases are a little damaged, the bottom part of a minor wreck, but that's how it came. Nothing you can do about it. So I'm going to put these back, and I hope you have fun, and I'll see you. The next one for the next episode of Danganronpa, where hopefully we'll find we'll go on with things. See you then.